One of Us is Lying came out on Netflix on Friday, February 18th, and has had subscribers hooked ever since. The eight-episode series sees five youngsters go into detention but only one of them comes out alive and the remaining classmates are suspects known as the Bayview Four. By the grand finale though, the truth comes out on what really happened to Simon, played by Mark McKenna. Warning, this article contains spoilers from One of Us is Lying. At the beginning of the drama, Simon goes into anaphylactic shock due to his peanut allergy. His life is in the hands of high achiever Bronwyn, Marianne Lee Tejada, bad boy Nate, Cooper Van Grootel, basketball player Cooper, Chibui Kamuche, and popular girl Addie, Annalisa Cochran, but there is no sign of an EpiPen in the nurse's office. As a result, Simon dies and when it is discovered that his water contained peanut oil and all of the school's EpiPens had been stolen, the police suspect at least one of the other four students are behind his murder. Call the midwife pay tribute to beloved colleague Kev Corbishley they all had a motive to kill Simon due to their various secrets, Browning stole an exam paper, Nate sold drugs to a student who almost died and Addie cheated on her boyfriend Jake, Barrett Carnahan. Cooper's secret was he was gay but everyone bar him was revealed by an unknown culprit via Simon's popular blog about that. They figure out it was Simon's friend Janae, Jessica McLeod, behind the resurrection of the blog who strongly believed one of them were the killer. When she is locked out of about that though, she realizes there is someone else who is behind it all. Who killed Simon in One of Us is lying. In a shocking moment, it is revealed that Addie's boyfriend Jake was the one who murdered Simon. He wanted his revenge after Simon told him about Addie having a fling with his friend TJ, George Ferrier. Jake and Simon used to be good friends, playing pranks and dares with one another until Jake became popular and left him behind. He dared Simon to prank his fellow detentionees by putting peanut oil in his own drink so they would believe one of them was a murderer. Although hesitant, Simon wanted to get back at all of these students who he didn't like and and so agreed. Veris Brenda Blethen pays tribute to Aiden Healy star A Delight, tribute the crown loses £150,000 worth of items in burglary, explainer Meghan Markle's Suits co-star admits she mocked after seeing him naked, cast, talking via their Xboxes, Simon asks Jake to stay close by so he could ensure the gang used the EpiPen correctly but he refused. This is when Simon hinted he was keeping all of these conversations which made Jake nervous and decide to kill his former friend to cover his tracks. He also wanted to frame Addie for his murder but when planting the EpiPen in her locker didn't go according to plan, Nate became the next suspect. Addie finds the messages on Jake's Xbox and asks for the help of the other Bayview 4 members to get it to the police. There is a bust up in the forest with all of them present, with Jake desperately trying to retrieve his Xbox. A gunshot is then fired and Jake is shot dead but it is unclear who pulled the trigger. The police find out the truth about Jack killing Simon and assume he ran away in fear of being put behind bars. The gang think it's all over when they each receive a mysterious text saying they know what really happened but who is behind it? One of Us is Lying is available to watch on Netflix.